They each slowly recovered from the battle. Mirth was shuddering in pain from the feeling the demons so close to the forest. They're in the middle of the fucking desert! They're on the edge of the desert, remember? Okay. They're on the okay. edge of the desert. They described it. They're on the edge of the desert where the forest meets the desert. Yeah, that's... That... that's... We're not going to talk about geology <laughs> or ecology. No, we're not. As demons, how could they have possibly snuck up on us? Because that's the actual word that goes there. Misfit, of course. Impossible. But to be quiet. We were all preoccupied with Ray and Torbar's conflict. I'm going to be the voice of reason here. Listen to my dulcet, soothing toy tones. Demons! Why were they all the way out here? As we tried to tell you before, demons are very much involved in this war. Ashtray swallowed and then looked, looked desperately over at Tobar. Okay, you have to tell me if you're not an elf. Are you an elf? Tobar closed his eyes and nodded. This war, sorry, his name isn't colorful. This war is the work of demons. You should trust Princess Loren, crass as she may be, <laughs> and all her followers in the matter. Prediction, next dialogue box, a rebuttal from Loren. Nope. The demons are more powerful than we could have ever believed. They, ellipsis, they corrupted my own son. Ashtray and Tovar looked over at Mesfit. He swallowed and looked away. I'm fine, Dad. I'm fine. Are you telling me? We're fighting it. It will not win him, but... Ashtray gripped Tovar's shoulder in deepest empathy. <laughs> That's a Vulcan nerve pinch, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll make them pay! They locked eyes in resolution and Saren relaxed. They just convinced their first general to stop the war. Hey! Progression! Level ups all over! Yeah, level up. Uh, let's punch things harder. Get those, uh, right? Yes. Do we have, uh, we do not have skill points. No. Skill point. We nope. have no skill points. Uh, I don't remember. I think we were putting him into strength because he's in the front row. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Was bad at everything, basically. Yeah, I mean, we're we're just terrible. Um, yeah, she's a skill point. Oh yeah. Um, so we were trying to get her the AOE. Um. So I feel like we just no no let's let's grab sneak attack too. I think that's more useful. Uh, far right. Yeah, they have to be staggered, Yeah, though. but if there's somebody staggered, we can uh, do a bunch of damage. That, that's true. That's they true. do get staggered on occasion. Yeah. Like, it seems to happen fairly often. Mirth I mean, if we ever have her point. in the party again. Yeah, right? Like, she's she's cool, but she's not a powerful-ass wizard. I think that Tangling Weeds 3 is our go-to, uh, right? Yeah. Like, more damage. And sl slowing in paralysis seemed to be the best result. Uh, sorry, Piven. Our, our end goal is... Um, Convince both sides to stop the war. And then take the fight to Foster Logger. Who is a demon-possessed suit of armor that cannot be destroyed. Because he's a suit of armor. And they, so they separated it and put it on five altars and five tombs. And oh. we're going to each tomb to prove to the elves that, in fact, they are all empty. Which they are. I'm really hoping that his left arm is still there. He's just and the elves are like, yeah, and the elves are like, um, nope. Ken. Ken. So we, 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 Dragon Kick, I think, was uh, where we were going on that. Uh, yeah. And I like... Well, for Dragon oh, Kick... Oh, right, yeah, the, the, the parry thing, because the parry thing is is awful. Yeah. Because um, it only goes up to 15%, and who cares? Yeah. Like, if it went up to 25, yeah. I'd be like... Maybe, but yeah, it's... solid. But so I think we just want this one, like sure, fifty percent yeah. defense bonus, like like with a mind that we're eventually gonna get dragon kick too. Yup, yup, seems fine. Does eagle strike? 
requires them to be staggered. Um, and he gets strength. Kamara. Oh, Kamara gets a skill point. Ooh. Swamp 2? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And mess fit. Right, because we went up and got the... <laughs> we just went up and got the top abilities and avoided all the lower ones. Because <laughs> the way the talent tree is structured. Yeah. Uh, do we want that one? Uh, hits a single target for 45% hit points and increases his own hit points by 50% of the damage done if they're not a boss. Minimum damage done in any case is 50 hit points. So if they're not a boss, it does 50 damage. Or if they're a boss, it does 50 damage. Um... Otherwise, it does basically half their hit points and damage. That seems great. Uh, yeah. And it heals him. Yeah. All right. True enough, General Ashtray swore to withdraw his troops and support the peace treaty formed by between the humans and the elves. A uh, change of plans, everybody! Uh, please turn in your swords and take up your water pistols again. Water fights for everyone! This left General Samuel. Um, Ashtray gave the party credentials to approach him at his camp, but the rest was up to them. Alright. Uh, Crypt 2? Camp. 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 Oh. We're gonna do camp. Like, we just did something major. Saren walked out of the camp to the neighboring wooded area. Mesfit was on the ground nearby, slumped against a tree with his hair covering his face. <laughs> His hands were pulled back around the tree trun tree's trunk and tightly bound. Oh, yeah. Um, Saren paused to take in the image of Mesfit tied up like a, prison a prisoner, the same way he paused every night when feeding him. He shook his head and continued. I brought you something. Mesfit didn't acknowledge him, as usual. So Saren crouched next to the dark elf and revealed a portion of bread. Bread! <laughs> <laughs> You forgot, the, didn't you? The luxury caused Mesfit to look at the loaf and see if Saren was telling the truth. But even seeing the bread in his hands didn't change his decision to ignore him. Saren sighed harshly. <sighs> I've tried berries and meat. I've tried just offering you water. And now you're refusing even real bread. As opposed to what? You'll die if you don't eat something. Mesfit was silent. Saren cringed, realizing that death might actually be the Dark Elf's goal. He pushed the thought out of his head and tore a off a piece of bread and headed up, held it up to Mesfit's mouth. The Dark Elf sneered and twisted his head away. Eat some. Saren tried again to feed Mesfit, but he made it clear he didn't want to be fed. <laughs> I know you're hungry! Do feed me like an animal. The outburst started Saren, but it was, it was but it was a progress. Mer Mesfit pulled on his arms, testing his binds. His arms were stuck in place from a powerful knot, personally tied by Ray, but the movement drew Saren's eyes to Mesfit's wrists. They were red and raw. He stared at Mesfit for a while as he leaned back in defeat, facing away. If I untied you, would you eat? The indignation in Mesfit's face lifted, but he remained quiet. Or would you run? Finally, Mesfit turned to him. Find out. Saren swallowed from the challenge, but to him there wasn't an option to refuse it. He had to keep the Dark Elf alive, but not just to watch him... He would kept the Dark Elf alive, but not just to watch him starve to death. He kept the eye contact as he leaned forward, reaching for Mesfit's wrists, his Hot. other hand creeping towards his weapon. After some work, he was able to untie the knot, holding Mesfit, and his arms sprung free. However, he didn't immediately flee. Mesfit flexed his arms as if they were sore. Saren watched with one hand on his weapon. The Dark Elf looked at the bread on the ground next to him and then devoured it. He was indeed starving, so Saren relaxed from watching him eat. When Mesfit was finished, he stood up, prompting Saren to stand up as well. They... What does this line do? He stood up, and then the other person stood up. Oh, sorry, I was distracted by the abs. <laughs> Where are you going? It was a tense moment. He feared that Mesfit would escape and he would be to blame. Mesfit? 
Don't tie me up again. Dude, you turn it into a literal demon on occasion. So I have to. Because I'm an animal. No, because you'll run away and or eat one of us. Then I'm a prisoner. Yes. Some kind of prisoner animal. No, the, the prisoner part. Literally a prisoner. I'm like a bear in a fucking striped onesie to you, aren't I? I'm just a prisoner animal. Give me your picnic basket. Would you stay, even if we didn't tie you? You show me no reason to stay. God, Mesfit is so bad at negotiating. Right? I've given you your life. Isn't that enough? I should be fighting for my people. I should be with my father. I want my dad. Scry my dad. You're too dangerous. I use that to our advantage. I'm a weapon for the dark elves. <laughs> then strike it ever burn for them. The demons in those mountains will destroy all elves, dark or not. You cannot fight for a people that do not exist. You fucking watch me. Misfit growled and turned around. Saren jumped, about to lose him for good. Don't. You'll be hunted. I cannot spare your life a second time. If you want to help the Dark Elves, don't throw your life away. I can help you, but you must give me time. I'll arrange for you to be allowed more freedoms. Trust me. That's what stood still also, for an excruciatingly long moment. <laughs> I just... The Dark Elf's hands curled into fists. Saren sized tortured wrists more clearly now. No, the moment has passed. <laughs> you need a cell for your wrists. I can get you one in the morning. Alternately use my baller magic to just heal you completely right now. After another tense moment, Misfit quietly retreated back to his tree. I'd rather you thought of me as an animal. I get more picnic baskets that way. It'd be easier to kill you. Saren acknowledged Mesfit's attempt to recover his dignity in silence as he tied the dark elf back to the tree. Mesfit looked as if his cooperation was making him ill. Saren secured the knot against Mesfit's wrists, but made sure not to make it too tight to injure him further. Tomorrow, then. That was his farewell as he rose from the ground and left Mesfit in the woods. He searched for a soothing cell from the group when he returned to camp. Oh, and then we're just... All right, yeah. It's the next morning. To his horror, Mesfit was gone. Only the cloth that bound Mesfit remained. Gods, no. Saren's blood drained from his face, realizing he had lost Mesfit. It was his fault, and now we would have to face Loren with that fact. Do you have a picnic basket? Look, look at those pouty, pouty eyes. I know. He stood in the woods, regaining his senses and figuring out how to approach his mistress with the news. He wondered if he would be put to death, because that is a, th a worry that he has pretty consistently. After a long time, he slowly made his way back to camp. He looked for Loren around the campfire, but instead found someone else. His heart stopped. Mesfit? Saren charged toward him, waving the cloth bindings. How did you... Others were milling around the campsite, so he whispered in a low voice. How did you escape? Your dots are like amateur. Let me tell you something. I know that the use rope skill is bullshit. But if you're going to play that edition, you better put some fucking points into it. Saren was offended, but it was the truth. On top of the fact that he purposely loosened the bindings. Then why escape only to stay? Is that the self? Mesfit coolly gestured to the bottle of still palmed in Saren's offhand. He'd forgotten that he was still carrying it. Yes. Dark Elf reached out his hand and asked for it without a word. Saren studied him, not planning on giving it to him in the first place. But consider after considering how Mesfit wanted to be treated, Saren gave him the bottle. What? What was that? What? Mesfit <laughs> took it and left. I like how, so Kambara moves through the camp, everyone notices. D 
dark elf demon warrior is sitting by the fire. Everyone's too busy. <laughs> Saren was unsure what to think of him, or if he should fear Mesfit or his escape, but what really mattered was the tragedy of Mesfit running away had never happened, and for that moment, Saren was safe from Loren's wrath. This is not a good leadership model. No, no. This is, like, this is a deeply abusive <clears throat> relationship that this man has internalized, um, and, and beyond any return i suspect i'm super curious what the romance with lorena actually is like but not curious enough that i want to play this game again yeah no i i saren kept mesfit's escape a secret and tied his knot extra not extra tight that night after freeing his hands to eat once again fortunately he escaped the knot each and every night but each time he'd be found in the camp next morning it perplexed saren about what mesfit was trying to prove by escaping his bindings just for the sake of escaping him was it a form of rebellion or resentment, or was he trying to prove that he could be trusted? What? Hooray! I don't know what just happened. God, there's so many people! I think it's important, the next time we have a battle, we need to move everybody out so that we can figure out how many characters we have left to get. Because mm. I think there's still space. Well, there's a dog. I think we figured that out. Oh, yeah, the Hellhound. The Hellhound. From the DLC. All right. Um, yeah, do we want to talk to everybody and then take a break? Yeah, sounds great. All right. Let's roll up on a polymer show. Why are you so against Kambara's help? Her only way of helping us is to make us instruments of her dark magic. I will allow no such thing. She tried to make use of my instrument just recently, and it was a little awkward, and I have very strange feelings about it. Why? Is dark magic bad? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it, it, it's evil. Literal evil. Like, it's made from evil. It is the forbidden art of the dead, which is the magic that the Death Knights assembled when they re reigned. The gods saw those beings as evil, worth destroying, and so must we all. So... <clears throat> there's a lot going on in that in that like two sentences, right? Like there's yeah. just a whole bunch of world building that just happened. Yep. Yep. But also it it demonstrates that um Apollo show like doesn't have a clear sense of what it means to be evil or why. Um the gods think it's evil, so it's evil. Yeah. That Anyone who practices this magic is a traitor to the gods themselves. Like, he's not just a racist. He's like a holy zealot. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be friendly or joking with this asshole. <laughs> All right. Eh, eh. Please, don't force your beliefs on me. I will judge people myself. What the fuck? Saren just said something sensible. Yeah, that was actually shockingly reasonable. Yeah, sorry. Uh, for for Chad, who has not seen this, our other episodes, uh, generally speaking, whatever response Saren chooses, he's an insufferable dick. Yeah, like, Saren has the social graces of a Turing bot programmed by the party habits of second-year math students. Like, <laughs> it is not an option! It is a fact. Dark magic is literally evil. But why? Bohambara and the demons are selfish creatures, using dark magic at the expense of others to serve only themselves. Unlike me, who fucking rained storms of ice for charity. <laughs> Listen! <laughs> you... Let me tell you about my version of the Ice Bucket Challenge, motherfucker! <laughs> It's lit, only not because it's ice spells. My mass paralysis non-profit is very... <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't hurting anyone in the forest by herself. She just wanted to live in peace and sometimes be a scorpion. My mass paralysis non-profit is my Boards of Canada cover band. <laughs> She's an outlaw, a wanted woman. She's running from her punishment. I'm sure all criminals would prefer crimes to be ignored. 
to live in peace. Her crimes are literally being a witch. Yeah, like like. like her, but that is not the way of the way they wait. Well, let's just move on. <laughs> Sarah gave up on the conversation. <laughs> Good fucking choice. All right. Nothing's new with me. Um, I can never remember Emma Kiki's voice. I thought it was just Ernest Man. Yeah, I think so. The Arch Wizard called you the Bear. Where did you get that name from? Well, let me tell you about being gay. <laughs> What's wrong with my name? Nothing's wrong with it. I'm just wondering how you got the moniker the in front. Like, I understand the second half, but. I'm proud of my name. I chose to keep it when they forced me to take another. Who forced you? The Empire. My name reminds them of my heritage, and that bothers them. But it does not bother me, so I keep it. I am a bear, because I come from the clan of the bear. Wait, so Emukiki is, like, the bullshit empire name they gave him? Yeah. I will point out that um, our representative from the empire's name is Apollo Michaud. Fair. I'm just saying. It's not the empire of Steve's. So it's a family name? I thought you earned it in tournaments because you had the strength of one. I'm going to level with you here, kid. I'm way stronger than a bear. Yes, that's that's how we were named. Why would your name bother people? Homophobia. Because nomads are barbarians. If I am to be one of them, I cannot be so. Yet you rebelled against that. Didn't you want to be part of the Empire in the first place? No. Amukiki's jaw flexed as he resituated himself. My clan has banished me. Saren almost gasped, not expecting Amukiki to be disowned from a heritage he's still so deeply respected. Why? That's really personal. I refused a woman that was given to me. Reinforcing the whole fact that I'm super gay. Romance! You mean a wife? She was to be my life mate, as chosen by our clans. But you didn't want her? No. Look at those sad eyes. Look how sad his eyes got. Aww. Did you know that if you didn't take her, you'd be exiled? Yes. What about her drove you from your people? It must have been important. Many reasons. Many of them being... Chest hair. Yeah. Lot, lot, I like, I'm super into chest hair. Leather. Um, the D. The beast I'm, with I am two, all the, the, about D. the D. Yeah, it's really... I, mean, I was too young. I had no decision of my own. She was unimpressive. Ooh, harsh. Wow. Ooh. She did not belong with me. I did not feel for her as I should have towards a mate. I mean, everything about um, un except unimpressive there, I'm I'm on board with. But I gotta admit, like that's that that's some like ice cold first date talk, though. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like you're you're like this. That is a word that is immediately like this shit is not happening. My clan was in debt to her clan. I was the gift more than she. You were exiled, but you still consider yourself one of them? Yeah, that's that's how that works. It's... Yeah, yes. It's clear that I'm not part of the Empire. You've said before that you were a free man. But I wonder if that's really true. Man, I'm a dick. The gladiator didn't know how to respond to the claim, unable to accept the idea, but it hurt as much as if it were the truth. He never managed to reply. Well, we got the set. Get that sad affection. Yeah. Uh, alright, let's do Ramus. Alright. <clears throat> My ex is getting restless. Nice. Well, good. Uh, Dora? Good talk, uh, buddy. Is it the other dwarf? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi again! Oh, that was it. That was it? Awesome. Yeah. No, it's... 
I'm, 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 A, I'm glad that we've kind of, like, wrapped up these people's conversation lines, but also I think we're slowly running out of lines of conversation for people who, like, we don't have romance options with. Uh, yep. So I bet, uh, Karen. Please, I need to be alone right now. Oh, nice. Um, wow, we're just, let's go to Sauzer. Let's work from the other Shaw. side. Not to be picky, but like, shouldn't you be doing something else? I'd like to meditate. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, that's fair. Absman? It looks like the Dark Elves are finally getting accepted <clears throat> back into the forest. Yeah, maybe to you. All that's happened is the Elders calling upon my people to die for them. Uh, th that's... Actually, now that you say it, that really seems like what's happening. The Forest Elves have decided to give you am amnesty. Isn't that a step in the right direction? Under other conditions, totally, but this only shows how greedy the Elders can be. They've ignored us and persecuted us until they need bodies to throw into the fray. If you ask me if that's progress... This is actually deeply insightful, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is like... <laughs> I see what you're saying, but I'm, for some reason, obstinate and very slow to pick up on sort of class struggle sort of tones. It may cost some lives, but the Forest Elves can't possibly ignore your people again. But the point of the conversation is, they shouldn't have been ignoring them in the first place. You'd be surprised. Can't you be more optimistic about this? I literally ate a TV at one time. The time for optimism is past. Now's the time for brooding. And bread. Did you bring more bread? Sam was starting to realize how convicted Misfit had become, become from a lifetime of rejection. I don't know what that means, but I'm intrigued by the construction. Mm. <clears throat> oh, all right. And uh, Kambara, is she the next one in? Uh, yep. Against his <laughs> better judgment, yep, so, yep. Saren approached Kambara for a chat. Well, look who is walking up to me so boldly. If it isn't my handsome hero, come to bravely rescue me from boredom. I like her. Go ahead. Really? You think I'm handsome? Literally almost crawled into your pants as, as giant scorpion. What do you think? I was joking, but let me see. She openly evaluated him with her eyes, and she reached out to Saren's chest and ran her hand down the side of him, causing him to gasp. <gasps> this is why you don't have a fucking opening in your armor, dick. You're muscular, but but slender. You're so skinny. Have you, <laughs> right? Have you thought about borscht? God, now I want borscht. It's so yummy. I don't know that I've had any since I was like a kid, and that would have been horrible. I dare say you are very, very attractive to certain people who are probably fools. Kamara whispered the last word while looking him straight in the eyes, her lips curling into a smile. The feel of her hand seemed to linger on his skin because she's a witch, and it probably literally is. <laughs> Living with Amazons around all those women's and being this delicious looking, you're probably quite experienced in bed. I bet you're loads of fun. This is I'm literally just assessing the intro to this game. Ah, uh, yes. It's sort of weird how starkly self-aware about the writing that my character is. Oh, I... No, let's be real. Or does she want us to be forceful? I don't know. I, I like being friendly with her. Certainly not jokes. No jokes. Are you sure? <laughs> no jokes with Kambara. Knock, knock. She will win. Oh, God, who's there? Sandwich. Sandwich who? Sandwich gonna give it to you. But not as much as Swamp Witch. Alright, so friendly, forceful? Uh. Let's be friendly. I was not a harem slave. And even if I was, it's not as if I would have had a choice in my own pleasure. Which is a really interesting sentence given the context of how he interacts with all of the Amazons. Relationships with men are not for recreation anyway. What I'm hearing is you're a virgin. That's none of your business. Yeah, it is true. Don't be ashamed. His merits. It's good for dark magic. <laughs> good talk. 
Her eyes were prying. Saren felt as if he could not hide from them while in her presence. No, you can't. <laughs> That's how that works. Someone, you can't have the like. I can turn in. I can turn invisible, but only when no one's looking. Is that out of boring when I don't have any? When I haven't killed anything in a while? Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> yeah, he's got problems. Hey, Mirth. Good mirth. Who exactly is Mesfit? That's that new leader of a gang of dark elves originating from the neighboring desert. That's not just the face and voice of old dark elves. It's pretty much an outlaw. Why? It's just yeah, a troublemaker, pit of thievery and vandalism. Unfortunately, it got much worse. Elves, even children, were being kidnapped and ransomed. And recently, one of our elders was murdered. He left a threatening note, so we knew it was him. It's Sorry, he left a threatening note after he murdered him? Yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. You kill the elder, and then there's a note, and they pick it up, and they read it, and it just says, You suck, and I'm probably gonna kill the rest of you. Side best fit. He sounds like a cruel person. Reinform me he's made a demon pack, just like his ancestors. Oh, wait, what? Were we supposed to have this conversation before we rescued him and almost made out with him? Yeah, like, seriously. <laughs> We're, like, second base with this guy. <laughs> I explained so much. I honestly thought the Dark Elves still had demon traces inside him as that all the druids before me. The demon blood had upset the forest and would cast them out. And it makes me think of Illidan. Uh, from uh, Warcraft 3. Mm. And subsequently World of Warcraft. But <clears throat> yes, but it's very Illidan. In Warcraft 3, um, one Illidan like ascended to his super cool demon form. Mm-hmm. Um, he would he would leave little burning footprints mm. on the ground. I remember noticing it and being really happy. That's perhaps only specific Dark Elves that cause the forest pain. What does that mean for the Dark Elves? Means I was wrong about them. We all were. Mirth fell into silence. All right. I, uh, how, so, before we talk to Loren, I have an important question. Yeah, me too. So, Loren... Loren is one of these people. Mom. Karen, Karen is one of these people. Who knows? Fingers crossed, Hellhound. All right. I hate you so much. We have great tasks ahead of us. Convincing the Council of the Empire and the Elders of the Force as well. <sighs> Why can't this be simple? In the Citadel, everything is simple. Everything? Yes. Everyone does what I say. Everyone. Or I kill them. With swords. Two swords. I'm quite good at that. Yes. You're strong or you're weak. You either know or you don't. You're worthy of honor or you're worthy of death. Whoo! <laughs> or, 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 you're a literal princess and you inherit your honor. Simplicity is not always best. But I say it is, and I'm the one that decides who lives or dies. It is when it gets me my way. Whoo, yep. Yep. yep, yep. Of course. So, Saren, which task do you think we should finish first? Uh, I think this is a trap. I don't think there's a right answer here. No, no. Which one do we think we should finish first? Probably the Empire's one, because it's quicker. We have to go... Oh, yeah, no. Right, because it's, it's find three generals, go to 11 tombs. Yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, woo! Somebody coded a dialogue wrong. Piece wrong there. The elves task. The empire may benefit from knowing the proof. I clicked empire. Mm. Sorry. Oh, no! Oh. No! Interesting. So no matter what you click, Amukiki interrupts you. Or somebody interrupts you. Yeah. Whoever disagrees with you. That's really cool. Alright. Saren ground his teeth from hearing Amukiki answer for him. Apologies to the game devs. I thought that was a, a mistake. 
Excuse me? We should definitely do the other first. That would be unwise. I've had enough. We leave now. Aaron briskly left them. Saren took in a deep breath and glared at the gladiator before following her. Oh, I bet it's your, like, romantic rival. Right? Because um, Saren still sees Amukiki as a, as a rival for Lorenz of affections. Oh, right. Despite the fact that neither of us want her in any way, mm -hmm. uh, we just want to make beautiful cicada noises by grinding our abs together. Yeah, yeah. No, All right, essentially. so is that break time? Uh, yeah, let's take a break. Uh, let's, save, let's save the game. Oh, yes, yes. Let's not relive any of that. Awesome. All right.